Now in depth at seven, from alcohol to seafood to fruit exporters, we are getting a better idea of the specific local products, jobs and businesses impacted by tariffs imposed by the Trump administration. It comes as Washington Senator Marie Cantwell said today, we are in a trade war with countries that could put people here out of business. Kara 7's Lindsay Shelton is live right now in Soto and Lindsay, you found a local company there that is already feeling the impact. Monique, FC Blossom Company here employs about 40 people and works with growers here in Washington State and growers across the country to distribute goods, produce domestically, but also to export that produce internationally. You can see all of it behind me here. But they say buyers in countries like India and China are now hesitating, putting off orders because of increased costs due to tariffs. You're sending these where? Uh, potentially to India. Hoping to. Hoping to, yes. Brian uh, Bernard is in export yeah, sales at FC Bloxham that. Company, which has been selling produce like this like red delicious from Yakima with, for more than 80 years in Seattle. You know, just a nice red color that's consistent all the way around. He says India's proposed new on American apples in response to U.S. tariffs on India's steel and aluminum are hitting business hard. It stopped, stopped the trade. Uh, as of the 21st, to our understanding, there'll be an additional 30% tariff on these apples in India. And that's on top of an already 53% tariff. Senator Maria Cantwell did not mince words today in Washington, D.C. Do you think we're at a trade war right now? Because that's where I see us. As the president has often said, we've been at a trade war forever. The okay. difference is that now we, our troops are coming to the ramparts. No, I, Mr. Secretary, I want you to hear me. Apples and cherries are getting hurt. Cantwell also pointed out that in response to U.S. tariffs on China, China has announced tariffs on American seafood. These people might go out of business while you're creating this trade war. Without trade and without exports, our company doesn't exist. That hits home for Seattle company American Seafoods, which harvests and processes seafood, then distributes it around the globe. It boils down some of the impact in this video from the Washington Council on International Trade. Our employees are paid a share of the catch. The higher the price for those products, the more money they make. Uh, without export markets, our employment and our income uh, would go down substantially. According to Catwell's office, the U.S. exported $1.3 billion worth of seafood to China, with more than 75 percent of those exports coming from Washington state and Alaska. Here's a look at some of the state's biggest agricultural exports. French fries bringing in $756 million a year. Apples, $721 million. Dairy products at $366 million. And cherries, $358 million a year. And alcohol is facing potential tariffs, too. Canada responded to U.S. tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum by issuing a list of American items that could face tariffs next month, including whiskey, like the ones made at Westland Distillery in Seattle. Right now we make a lot more whiskey than we need to sell in the U.S., so a lot of the people that we have here, in terms of making whiskey, all of those people are here basically for the products that we're going to be exporting in the future. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross says the tariffs will benefit the U.S. in the end. But companies like FC Bloxham are concerned about the costs right now. This stuff is not going to hold. There's a short time frame when this can be sold and shipped. 